This presentation is from Estelate, the Electrical Estimating System and Australian Accredited Training Course. We're going to look at the different types of electrical estimating methods. The labour unit calculation method versus the pre-bills and per-point methods. Pre-bills and per-point methods use the averaging calculation method are open to discrepancies in the final value of your tender or quote. For example, say in our cell rate quote of each power point with 10 metres of cable, we have one double socket outlet, $18, one mounting bracket, $1, 10 metres of power cable at $1.20 a metre, $12, half hour labour to install, $35, so our total pre-built or per point is $66 per point. Using the pre-bills or per point methods, say we have 20 power points in our quote, gives us a total of $1,320. The distance run of cable between power points can vary with power points on three different circuits using more cable back to the switchboard, etc. In an average house of 20 power points, this can add up to a total of 300 metres in length. Installation conditions can vary and difference in cost between double socket outlets and single socket outlets. And the list can go on and on. Using the accurate labour unit calculation method, we have 20 double socket outlets, $360 at 0.18 of an hour for each labour unit. 20 mounting brackets at $20 each at 0.18 of an hour for each labour unit. 30 metres of cable, total $360 to install 0.02 of an hour per metre labour unit. Using the accurate labour unit calculation method for 20 power points, our sold rate for the quote is as follows. The total material, $740. Total labour at 13.2 hours at $70 per hour, $924. Our total quote comes to $1,664. From the pre build and per point quote, our sell price is $1,320. And our sell price from the accurate labour calculation method is $1,664. We have a difference of $344, and this the figure can vary with the pre-bills and per-point methods. This is not sustainable. Using the pre-bills or per-point methods, we make too many assumptions. With the accurate labour unit calculation method, you know exactly how much material and labour is required for your job or project. The basic principle is establishing labour units is to provide a separate unit labour for the installation of each item of material for the condition under which it is being installed. The more completely the overall operation can be broken down into individual units, the more accurately the total estimate labour can be determined for any given job. In electrical estimating, as a starting point, the human resource function requires basic labour units that have been proven on past projects over time on the productivity of the human resource for different functions. For example, installing a power point above 3.5 metres. Each organisation has different efficiency levels depending on the makeup and experience of the human resource on the particular functional outcome at the time of execution. The basic labour units will need to be updated regularly through a feedback loop from current projects as the makeup of the human resource changes over time in organisations. The efficiency level depends on the number of workers having the required skill level for each particular task. For more information, visit www.estelect.com.au Thank you.